With me in the studio is Robert. He's a bomb. He's just returning home from his Rhodes Scholarship in France. Also, we have Stella. She's a long-range guided missile and the world's first awardee of three MacArthur Genius Grants. Thomas is a warhead of the air-to-ground variety who gained some notoriety with his treatise on our toad. And Jennifer speaks fluently in nine African languages and hopes to learn another one before she explodes. What these four bright weapons have in common is a problem. I don't mean the confusion over last year's Nobel Prize. It's tragic and it's farcical how the world's smartest arsenal always seems to fall for all the wrong guys. They've tried the 12-step programs, the self-help manuals. They've analyzed all the annuals we can keep on the shelves. So what is this pathology? that makes our best technology go loco for politicos much dumber than themselves. Is there a solution? The bombs want your opinion. Please call in and talk to us. We need to hear your voices. Let's go to the phones. This is the topic of our show tonight. Smart bombs, foolish choices. Hi, my name is Alice. Here's my question to the arsenal. I hope it's not too personal. I only want statistics. If the people they obey are always stupider than they are, is it only politicians who make them go ballistic? Alice, let me answer that. It's true, most of the precedents are generals and presidents. But I once had a crush on a top research professor at a major university who seemed to have recurrently the same problem as us. So are you saying some official only has to whistle and you misguided missiles will eat out of his palm? Well, yes and no, to quote Foucault, the discipline machine. Whoa, you went way over my head there. Well, you're lucky I'm a bomb. Is it the pressure? Could be the pressure. It could be just the pressure to perform With every weapons test We get a little stressed It's hard to be so far above the norm Yeah, my name is Ben and I'm just out of the reserves I thought I'd get through college when I went in to enlist Last place we invaded, you killed more of us than they did. It turns out you don't have to be a rocket scientist. You take one of our soldiers and a soldier of Saddam's. Well, I can't tell the difference, and neither can our bombs. And this may be the last words any soldier we deploy says. Smart bombs! <laughs> We respond to that. Hello, Ben, are you there? Let's take a call from Montreal. It's Joe, you're on the air. Yeah, tell me what's the use of PhDs for ICBMs if your politics are throwbacks to the Roman Colosseum. And when you leave the study just to seek a little heat, how you gonna tell a good guy from a villain? It turns out your education was so vague and incomplete that you you can't even tell anthrax from penicillin. Are they so clever? They're not so clever. Just ask the population of Sudan. The smartest bomb of all would never even fall. Would stay up in the air like Peter Pan. Well, okay, Mr. MX, with your staggering IQ, why don't you tell us what you do 
If you only had your choice. Well, I'd Bubba Bodell, Greg, Takamina, Ron, Khan, Bron, Tanaron, Two on Fun. That wasn't an explosion. I was quoting from James Joyce. Bell grabs on the telephone, an echo through the shards, saying, Wow, the bomb that did this must have been extremely smart. Or were those the last words every city we destroy says?